All right, I'll just open up. Um, uh, just I know you guys are probably going to ask Juju. Uh, we'll see how the week goes. I'll refer to the injury report on Juju. He's progressing well. Um, and then same thing, Jonathan Taylor uh, and Braden Smith. Uh, we'll see how the week goes with both those guys. Uh, so they have a chance? We'll see. <laughs> I know you guys love that response. Did you speed up a setback late last week? I know we practiced Friday. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, he's feeling good, though. Yeah, he'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, Jared Bell here, is that just depth? Yeah, we're just adding depth. Uh, veteran player, playing the league for 12 years. Um, obviously, he's been in this building, uh, so just adding for depth. Good to have him. Were you a little surprised? When, I mean, he hasn't played since he was here, basically. Were you a little surprised when Chris was like, hey, we're going to look at Jared? Yeah, no, shoot, he's, he's played a lot of football in this league. Uh, he's in good shape. Um, obviously, he worked him out, and uh, he looks good, so excited to have him. What, uh, what were your takeaways from watching the Steelers on tape? Um, they're a physical group. Uh, they've, that's kind of been their MO uh, with Tomlin there. They've done a really good job uh, defensively. You know, it starts up front. Highsmith and Watt are really good players. Then Hayward, a veteran guy inside. Um, and then Porter, the rookie corner, is a good player. Uh, Patrick Peterson, obviously a veteran player. And Mika Fitzpatrick in the back end. Uh, really good defense. I think they're plus 10 on the turnover margin. So they do a good job of taking the ball away. So. Ball security is going to be at a premium for us uh, this week, um, which will be big. And then offensively, you know, Pickens is an explosive player. they got the two backs that can run. Um, so it'll be a heck of a challenge. Uh, good to be home, though, in Luke Soil with our fans. That'll be exciting on Saturday. As someone who's in a head coaching position now, like, what can you appreciate about the longevity Mike Tomlin's had? Yeah, no, that's a great question. It's incredible. Um, I, don't, I, think, I don't know if he's had a losing season. Is that correct? Um, it's incredible uh, what he's done throughout his career getting those guys ready to play every single week. Um, obviously, he's got them ready. You know, they're prepared. Uh, they play hard every week. Obviously, I'm sure he's got a great message for those guys every week. Uh, but it's impressive to see. Shannon, I know you said we'll see with JT and others, but do you expect JT to play again this season? That's the plan, yeah. Whenever he does get back to practice, how important will it be to evaluate him in practice settings, ball security? Yeah, no, that'll be big, obviously. Um, the thumb deal, getting him back and, you know, carrying the football and pass protection and all that stuff. We definitely got to evaluate that, but uh, should be good. Do you have a sense of whether Jelani Woods will be able to play again this season? I don't. I don't. I know it's only one day, but are there some challenges when you're playing the game earlier in the week? Uh, no, you just got to adapt and adjust. Obviously, everything's moved up a day. Um, so we'll have our walkthrough today and then do our normal deal. So tomorrow will be like our Thursday, and Thursday will be like our Friday. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, but the guys are excited. Uh, obviously, a great opportunity for us at home and the AFC opponent. Um, we know it's at stake for us, and uh, we got to go out and execute. Uh, the details and the fundamentals are going to be big uh, this week. Maybe we'll be asking a lot about Pittman, but this this three keys on the consistency. Is that what you look for from top players? Is you just sort of know what you're going to get? Yeah, absolutely. Consistency is huge in this league, right? Those guys that show up and prepare the right way, and what he does every Sunday, and now obviously this Saturday, uh, the consistency that he's played with has been very impressive this year. And he goes out and makes plays. I mean, when the ball's thrown his way, he makes a play. When we need to play, he makes a play. Uh, it's been great to see. Um, what he's doing this year, and we just got to continue that uh, down the stretch. And the, and the fact that he's a focus, I mean, the defense knows the same thing. I mean, maybe that Im impacts how much impression on what he's doing? Yeah, no question. The contested catches that he's made this year uh, are huge. I mean, there's little ones that people might not think of much, like the first play against Tennessee in overtime. I mean, he had a linebacker around him, and he caught that little you know, hitch route inside for eight yards. I mean, that was a huge play in the game. You know, that got us going. Uh, just little things like that uh, make a big difference, and he's been doing it all year for us. He's obviously very emotional, a very emotional player on the field and passionate even off it. Um, how do you manage a player like that? I manage is the wrong word, but like you, you want that, right? But is there is there a balance, or do you just kind of let him be him? No, I mean, those, he's a great competitor, you know what I mean? And uh, all the great competitors I've been around, um, they do a great job in practice. They do a great job in the meeting room. Uh, and then the consistency, like we were just talking about, it just shows up on Sunday. And that's what he's been doing for us. Do you think other players be off of that energy from him? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, he continues to make big plays. That's fine. Um, he continues to make big plays. And uh, he's doing a heck of a job for us. You want the big explosive plays, the downfield stuff. But does it get underrated maybe sometimes, these guys who 
they just keep churning out first downs? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, he's consistent, right? I, I don't know what he's averaging per catch. Uh, you guys probably know that. I probably should know that too myself. But he just continues to make plays. I mean, I don't know. He's had two back 100-yard games last week. What, he had 95? Um, just the consistency that he's played with has been really impressive. Is, is there something to, um, with the running game, maybe the, the yards per carry aren't there, but you just have the, the volume of it and getting the yards up, you know, over 100? Yeah, I think any time, speaking of the run game, like you might, you know, sometimes you might have games where you pop, you know, it might be a three, four-yard run, 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 but then you pop that 30-yarder, which gets your average up. And uh, we need that, you know what I mean? We got to get some of those. Obviously, when we were running, uh, for over 100 plus yards, a couple of those games, we pop some big ones. And I think that obviously gets your average up, creating those explosives in the run game. And uh, that's what we're going to need going forward. Chief, the, their fan base travels typically pretty well to this game. Do you plan at all for possibly your offense having to deal with that even in your own building? Yeah, no, I think our fans are going to be uh, ready to roll. I think our fans are going to show up uh, and be loud. So our fans will be ready. Yeah. How cool has it been to see just the, the ascension of Ronnie Harrison Jr. and the opportunity he's capitalized on, obviously, this season? Yeah, no, it's been great, obviously, stepping in and uh, making the two plays that he's had, two interceptions. Uh, it's been awesome being around the ball. Um, you know, credit to him and the work that he's put in. Credit to Richard Smith, our linebacker coach, uh, for getting him ready, and Gus Bradley. Uh, but it's been awesome. You know, you see some of these young players uh, come in and get their opportunity, and then that's kind of how their career takes off. But uh, you can't ever take your foot off the gas, right? You got to keep working every single day because when you know you have an opportunity in front of you, you got to go take advantage of it. And uh, that's what all these players got to do.